Welcome everyone. So this session is the first of two immersive meditative experiences that will focus on investigating, activating our knowing through a process of identification with two Nicholas Rorick paintings entitled Santana, which means river of life, or in Sanskrit, stream of life. The the first of these paintings was painted in 1944. That's this one on the screen. And the second, we'll meditate on tomorrow, was painted seven years earlier in 1937. So to set the context for the meditative experience, I'll speak to three key thoughts guiding the process describe the experimental process which we'll then participate in and afterwards there'll be an opportunity to share impressions to anchor in the group field. Firstly, the art of thinking and regeneration of thought. As we know from the statement by the Great One, those who do not help the regeneration of thinking are no friends of the new world. A guiding principle for our work in Sydney, Australia has been a sloka that speaks to how we may regenerate thinking. A key thought we've been working with for some time comes from Fiery World 1541. The art of thinking must be completely and consciously regenerated, but without understanding the three worlds, it's impossible to raise thinking to a new level. The three worlds are the fiery, the subtle and the manifest worlds. As under, an understanding of the three worlds requires that we first of all, accept the reality of their existence and Consequently, instead of being preoccupied within or predominantly preoccupied within one of them, the third world, the manifest world, that we establish a point of identification where we live simultaneously and fluidly from a point of new equilibrium within all of the worlds. With this acceptance and new point of identification, where we strive to live completely and consciously, simultaneously within the fiery, subtle and manifest worlds, we regenerate our thinking as we increasingly bring to expression capacities and knowing from the fiery and subtle realms into the manifest world. At the same time, we realize our true identity and destiny and that they reside and that resides within the greater life of cosmos. We understand that there is an order to the worlds and that the fiery world is primary and hence the initiating world, followed by the subtle world and finally, to the world of incarnated life, of experiment and experience in the manifest world. A new point of identification within the three worlds may also be experienced as union through identification with the whole, not union through realization or vision, but union through identification with the whole through all worlds. And the mystery to this identification is wrought into manifestation in the furnace of individual experience and thus anchored into the manifest world. Secondly, Nicholas Rorick's paintings in parallel with the Agni Yoga teachings available in written form, have a role to play in the art of regenerative thinking. The Agni Yoga teachings in text 
as a series of books, and more recently, Helena Rorick's notebooks, are great gifts to all those who resonate with them mm. for understanding and living into being the energies from the fiery and subtle worlds. These word formulations in the manifest world as books can serve as portals or doors in the heart, the unifier of the worlds, through to the underlying energies in the subtle and fiery world substanding them. Nicholas Rorick's paintings too can serve as portals for entry into the subtle and fiery worlds. We may like to recall our first encounter with an original Rorick painting and the way we were touched by the psychic energy radiating through it. For me, it was at the Nicholas Rorick Museum and encountering the treasure of the mountain for the first time and experiencing its aliveness that extended beyond its frame and directly into the heart. The living presence of the Rorick paintings, like the books, invite us inward into the energies substanding the form. This psychic energy also radiates through digital and printed reproductions. As each book in the series of Agni Yoga teaching provides entry into the yoga of synthesis, we imagine that each painting holds a specific and unique revelatory aspect of the one synthetic energy that is Agni Yoga, the yoga of synthesis. According to Helena Rorick's notebooks, the master says that he wished to endow the paintings with the gift of healing diseases, such that their presence is purifying and as such acts like disinfectant, purifying space. As we engage in our meditation, we'll see what emerges in relation to regenerative thought that holds the potential to restore us to the treasury of health. It is said that a beautiful thought is a treasure of health. And as we experience the gift of healing from engaging with waves of psychic energy flowing through the paintings, we in turn radiate those healing waves in our near and distant space. So in addition to working with the books, we can work with the paintings as a process to revitalize, rejuvenate and regenerate the art of thinking inclusive of all worlds. And that is healing and purifying of the space we inhabit, the space for which we are guardians. Thirdly, as we cultivate the art of thinking, this conscious regeneration of thinking where we raise it to a new level by understanding that we live simultaneously in the three worlds, we do so through the heart. The heart is the unifier of the worlds. Our physical hearts are said to be on loan to us for our cycles of incarnated lives in the manifest world precisely for this purpose of communion within the one heart, within all worlds. Just as the sun is the heart of the solar system, the human heart is the sun of our individual organisms. It is said, let your heart lead you in crossing Santana, a stream or river of life. What we will now do for the meditation is begin with an alignment in the group heart and then spend some time observing the painting with our physical eyes before entering the painting within the embrace of the group heart. So,
Let's begin. So just take a moment with your eyes closed to center your awareness in your individual heart center, which according to the Agni Yoga teachings is called the realm of light. And locate the source of that light. A flame. We now unite our hearts across distance with all those on this call. as we transfer our individual awareness or flame into the flame of the group heart. And here we are aware of all those working subjectively in communion, in the one heart. So let us maintain this creative point of tension in communion of the one heart throughout this experiment. And now, open your eyes and take your time to observe the painting entitled Santana through your physical eyes. And a few comments before we observe in silence. Santana, as I said, means stream or river of life. And in Buddhism, it's customary to compare the chain of our lives within a perpetual current or stream. As we learn to sense the fiery wave of Santana, this light bearing stream, we enter the consciousness of cosmos. And more readily make use of every incarnation. Just as water is the result of the melting of millennial layers of ice, so an effective thought is a result of many centuries of accumulations of the soul as the yogi sits in deep meditation. And now allow yourself to be magnetically drawn to observe all elements of the painting that capture your interest. Its forms, its colors, its light, its energy dynamics. Really see and observe this gift from Nicholas Rorick captured in this art form he entitled Santana the stream or river, river of life.
And when you feel ready, close your eyes and still within the embrace of the group heart, we're now going to identify with the painting and in the process actually enter into it. You may do this through a fragment of the painting that has captured your attention or through the painting as a whole. Either way, your entry recognises that the art form of the painting is a portal to the subtle and fiery worlds, substanding it. Allow the painting to speak and enter into the group heart as we enter into it. And once entered, you may notice what appeared to be a 2D image comes alive. So take your time to explore the living painting and experience the knowing that comes from the subtle dimensions through this identification or entry into the livingness substanding the painting. The livingness that was inspiring Nicholas Rorick. as he was putting brush to canvas. And feel free to absorb and to be absorbed in, saturated in these living enlivening energies from the subtle dimensions. And note what impressions arise in relation to regenerative thinking, the art of thinking that is completely and consciously regenerated through, an under, through understanding the three worlds, the fiery, the subtle, and the manifest. and note any recalibration of understanding of the relationship of these energies, these worlds.
And knowing that this painting, Santana, the stream or river of life, is endowed with the gift of healing diseases and that our immersion in it as a group is purifying. See what further impressions arise in relation to healing and purification.
and now. We transfer our group awareness back to this group space, physical space and the Zoom space. And take a moment in silence to allow impressions to anchor as seeds of awareness in the group heart. And we sound three silent ohms within the group heart as we distribute the energies contacted through radiatory substitution. So now there will be a couple of minutes to reflect in silence while the format is switched over to gallery view where we'll be able to see each other and have the opportunity to share any impressions that have occurred in the meditation. Impressions in relation to the painting in relation to regenerative thinking, in relation to the heart as the unifier of the worlds, in relation to the paintings, this painting as the gift of healing diseases. <laughs> 